That's okay. I don't think he understood me because I said it in your paddock. Yeah, oh, I was looking at. Yeah. yeah, he has literally killed for less, and for that exact reason. Okay, so moving on from that little moment of fan service campaign, apologies to the people who were in it, <laughs> but that was just a bit of wrap up there. I'm so, as long yeah. as the actual I was thinking about grapes. Don't worry about it. <laughs> grapes. <laughs> people like grapes. The ship's going to be here for another week, waiting to take on trade supplies. What's everyone going to do for now? Back to work, is it? Yeah, I'm going yeah. to yeah, I'm gonna start teaching them the ways of the Yeah, we, we can do that hunting party. Yes. And take a ride right, to just the big let city. Me reduce the population of the town by one halfling. Now, there we go. I found, so, so I found a cannonball, a shiny bracelet, and co- uh, a cause and stricken clump of earth. I'm going to go looking, for get, looking again. Okay. Come on, dice. Well, you did find something. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure you're going to like that's my it. my survival though. check. Oh my. Is there anything that's useful in, in the manner of surviving? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> wouldn't say that exactly. Uh, would it be a reverse surviving? Is this, I'm going to go look for things that'll kill me. I mean, you found something. Oh, is it Mokosa? Not Mokosa as such. Something going as to such. eat my face? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. What have I found? It's a giant snake. Oh, great. Please roll Run. an initiative. That's roll. Oh, hey, snake run. friend! No, he beat Run his fast snake. and run far. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, where's my initiative? So is it, ju- is it just Ethereal in this fight? It's the best uh, days, the, isn't it? the moment, just Ethereal, okay. yes. Where is Ethereal? Way outside the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Run. It's gonna win anyway. That's a that's a fail. Yeah. It it wins initiative. So yeah. Um buh, 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 buh. it immediately begins moving in to try and constrict you. Um can I was it a reflex to dodge that or No, it's about to roll a combat maneuver. Yeah, it's gonna that one, be come my on, ace. That one, come on. Does that beat your combat maneuver defense? Combat maneuver defense. Oh. Nope. I'm only a fifteen. No. That beats me by 10. Wait, but your I mean, combat maneuver yeah, defense is... 15. Yeah. Well, you're currently constricted. Oh, boy. From this that... distance, would I be able to hear her scream? If we're out, well, going it's, out on it's the Well, it's Ethereal's turn now, so what's Ethereal going to do? I'm going to try and make as much noise and wriggle around as possible. Okay. Would everyone who's outside the town limits, which would be Taylor and Rowan, like to try and roll a perception to hear Ethereal shouting? I rolled the crit one, no. it's still a 12. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, no, rest in peace, Ethereal. Oh, dear. <laughs> Lime here is hit. My hand right here, here is here, everything. <laughs> yeah. So you relay, oh, I heard a scream, please, please, scream. please relay it. My girlfriend is in danger. Which direction? It's probably just a bird. That one, bird. and point that way. Well, on the which... outside the, the, the gates anyway, so he'd have to, like, come over to us to tell us that she's in trouble. Yeah. If he's in town and we're out of town, then... Yeah. See, he's out of town in a stroll. He's on his break. Well, directly on from here, um, it's its turn again, and now it's got you constricted. It's going to roll another combat maneuver to... Choke me Unhinge out. its jaw and attempt to start having dinner. No! Uh, How many turns is it going to take for me to get there? 16. That does. Be- yeah, um, it has now started the process of eating you. If I'm going to start stabbing it from inside ma- again. How many fucking turns You're is it going to How many turns ah. is it going to take for me to get there? So, Ethereal, if you want to try and break free, you've got to try and roll a combat maneuver, which is d20 plus your CMB. 22. Yeah. Ooh, not. Okay, so you're able to get out of the mouth enough to not get eaten, but you're still very Yeah, you're still I thought we were just shuffling downwards. It's like, no, 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 no. Bite yourself. You're just kind of wiggling. Yell again. You're you're just kind of frantically wiggling your head around to stop it going in the mouth. Stick and move, Ethereal. You hear hear the loudest feck ever. So, Rowan, by this point, you've heard... um, You've heard Levy's warning, as yeah. has Taylee, and you guys can get there in approximately two combat rounds. Great. 
uh, what if I was to um, take Taily on my shoulder and fucking lay it towards him? Are you standing next to Taily at the moment? Yes. We are surveying the trees. That's a point. You two, you two were both helping with the farming, so yes. You could get there next round if you do your full speed 120 feet run speed. We'll do it. Yeah, do it. Okay, okay, so there is a dashing giant woman who is dashing. <laughs> ca- <laughs> carrying an elf. And a, 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 a medium oh, beans zoom. flying behind them. Meanwhile, guess what it's going to try again? It's going to try and munch no. me. You are munched again. We Roll to resist the munch. Is that the combat b- uh, bonus, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Roll again. Hey! Ooh. Hey! Okay, so a nat 20 not only gets you out of the bite, but you've actually got one arm free from the coils now. I'm going to start shanking. On your next turn you can, because it's at this point that your backup has arrived. Woohoo! Hooray! Have we had a long rest? Have we long rested since the big fight we had with the Triceratops? Yeah, yeah, yeah you have. Right? You're rested. Yeah, because it was the next day that the book came in. Yes. So, uh, Rowan, you're up first. Nice. I go over to the snake and I um I tell it no. <laughs> Can I safely attack it without hitting Ethril? Uh any critical miss is going to hit Ethril. We... But otherwise you're miss. fine. I uh equip my shield with um ray of frost. Yep. And I use an arcane ball. Eleven damage plus whatever the ray of frost is about to do. Three, so that's fourteen damage. Yeah, you've just rent this thing, literally. Leave my girlfriend alone. <laughs> Smick. Smick. Smick the snick. Smick snick. This is right. Taily, Taily and Beans, what are you doing, my friendly friends? <laughs> um, Beans is gonna get up in there. He's gonna claw it and attack and fight and thing. Um, yeah, and he's going to use his claws, actually, because he gets... He can hit attacks. twice with his claws, yeah. Yeah, he can use two attacks for that, so... Claw them to shreds, little beanie boy! Well, he's not little anymore, is he? He's a medium. He's getting big. Chop, chop! That's a total of three more damage to the snick. Um, did I get a sling? How how does that... how does it work? Oh, I, maybe I won't use it for now, and we can discuss it in a bit. Yeah, it's a standard ranged attack, but yeah. How much damage dice is it? A uh, sling does, I will tell you in just a second. Here it is, a sling does d4 damage. 1d4, what's the multiplier on that? Uh, it's crit multiplier is a times 2. That seems wrong, is that wrong? No, you rolled a nat 20. Oh yeah! Confirmed the crit, so you did 4 critical damage. Nice! And now we're back around to Snick which has decided, heck, this doing a leave, <laughs> ceases constricting Ethril and starts leaving. Uh, Rowan, if you want to get an attack of opportunity in, you are in position to do so. I sure do. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Big woman's strength. You miss. Unfortunately, Darn you it. do miss. Darn it, I wanted to uh, kill that thing so we could eat it. Yeah, me. <laughs> well, I mean... Beans can make an attack of opportunity because he was in melee range. He's gonna bite. Bite it, Beansy. Go Sufficient damage. Beans has slain the fleeing snake. Yay! Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's good. That's, a... that's satisfying. <laughs> that's uh, food for the camp for a while then. Have it out. And let I mean, if we make it, make it into snake soup, that'll go quite far. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, Plus, and... that's an awful lot of snake skin now. We got, yeah, Ethril like... is mostly okay, but has some bruising on her arms and an awful lot of snake drool in her hair. Plus, I, I, need, to, I need to go and clean. I feel gross. Okay. Oh, Ryan's going to be really happy. Think of all the shoes you can make. <laughs> Heck, he could probably make um, like basic armour and stuff. Snake skin armour. I sling the snake um, over my back. I don't know how long it is, whether I need to like wrap it around my shoulders or anything, but... It's uh, 12 feet of snake. Okay, I, I can just do the fireman's lift then. Yes. Fireman's lift is dead snake and we, we take it back to uh, base. Hey guys, we brought food! While we're out, can I go and inspect that um, patch of um, Kawosa to go and see what's going on over there? With the, no, we the... burnt it, didn't we? 
Yeah, I'll yeah. Just check. I'll check. Make sure. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I point at it with one of my cookies. So what do I roll for that? Depends. What are you looking for it for? To see if it's if it's cooked it like it, or spread or yeah, spread at all, or if it looks like it's um, I don't know. Yeah, it's still going. That will be a perception check, please. Sixteen. Oh, sixteen. Uh, let me check what I've got written down here. Yep, yeah, you do find something on a sixteen. Just there is underneath everything. There's something sparkling in the dirt. Sparkling. Mm. Uh, I hear sparkling. Yes, sparkling. Okay, I'm, I'm going to use my. Uh, I'm going to use my quarter staff, my staff of the woodlands, to like the end of it to like <coughs> brush the dirt away to see what it is. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to crouch and and get close, but I'm not going to pick it up until I know what it is. Okay. So it appears to be a small black pearl. It's iridescently shiny and pure black. I want. I want. Okay, I'm Evil. detecting magic. Am I? Uh, I'm use that as a it's a heckin' magic, I believe you'd say. <laughs> heckin' magic. Okay, in that case, I'm going to unwrap the sc- my scarf. Um, I'm going to pick it up with like a gloved, scarf-covered hand. I'm not going to yeah. touch it with my skin, but I am going to pick it up and bring it as i'm not going to bring it into town but i'm going to call over whoever's nearby hi so we can see look at it all together just to see what it is you have to keep back in my hands because i want to grab it because it's shiny i put ethereal on my head so she can't get the shiny i'm sorry it's dangerous it's like you've got like one arm carrying some of the snake i'm under another arm and then you're using two other arms to uh, investigate this pearl Mm mm-hmm but yes, holding it in the light, it's sort of the sheen coming off it where the sunlight hits this pearl seems to be almost oily. We need to keep an eye on it. We can't just yeah. bury it somewhere and hope it gets better. We need to keep an eye on this thing. Could we have somebody watch it for now? Yeah. Okay, who's being assigned to pearl staring duty? I can pearl stare whilst I'm uh, taking people to the Ember City because... Um... I can have it in one hand whilst I'm still pulling the card. Oh, that's a really good point. Maybe you could take it to the Amber City. Obviously leave it outside in the wagon, maybe, and then bring out one of the priests to have a look at it. Yeah. Put it in, like, a bag or something. I've probably got a small pouchy type. Yeah, thing. you can wrap it for now in some cloth, and we'll, um... Do you still have the sleeve? Yeah. It says C. Corinelli. That reminds me, um, Ethereal Roller will save. Oh, great. Oh, what the shame. Ooh, dear. Oh, is that just brushing on the edge of stuff? So as the others are preparing the Black Pearl for travel, please perform a stealth check to sleight of hand it away. Taylor, give me an opposing perception check. 14. Yeah. I have the thing. Oh! (laughs) No, you don't. (laughs) Down to the delegates. (laughs) Taylor is able to spot you trying to grab it. Jump off her hand! Who said that? But at this point, um, the question is, did you get stop Ethereal before Ethereal actually touched the stone? Is the question. Well, the 22 to 14. Yeah. We're going to work this out with a reflex save from Taylor. If you get over 10 on this reflex save, you caught her in time. If you did not, then you did not. Oh, and then I get caught and infected afterwards. Well, no one said that. I'm thinking it. All you need is higher than a 10. Oh! Nat oh, one! Nat one! That's 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 win. Win. So, Taylor, you spot Ethril just as her fingertips touch the pearl. No! Oh, shit! Ethril, as soon as you grab the stone, you fall over backwards. Ethril, are you okay? I don't know. Yeah. Ethereal is currently unconscious and cannot she respond. She touched it. She touched the, the orb thing. She, she got it. the thing. Uh, I think I probably like got to pinch in it, but it squeezed out my hand as you moved it away. Yes. Yeah. Whee! Getting grabby. Getting grabby. Grabbing free. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, let's reach that up. I cast the detect magic on Ethereal. Uh, there's clearly magic going on. Can I roll Knowledge Arcana to see what kind? It seems to... Yeah, that would be Spellcraft check to see if you can detect what kind of magic it is. 
Okay. This is lovely to read. Wait, so what are we doing? What's going on? Do we need to try and save her? Or uh, you you, 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 you can't detect what kind of magic it is. There's, Taylor, there's mm -hmm. magic on it. Can you try and detect it? Because I failed yeah. it. Did I detect what magic it was with my perception check? Uh, uh, you did not. You could try spellcraft. I'll try that. I think I'm proficient in spellcraft. We'll see. 18? No, I'm trying. Uh, yeah. You enough to know that there is illusion and conjuration combinations going on inside uh, Ethereal's head. Oh. Oh. Oh no. And it's at this point that the pearl where it fell on the ground then cracks into fragments and quickly dissolves into dust. At this point, Ethereal's eyes open again. And then uh -oh. I probably vomit. <laughs> yeah. Ethereal, are you okay? Are you okay? Can I have cake, please? I need to wash out this taste out of my mouth. Um, I, um, I take my um, gold necklace plate thing that I've had on for a long time. I sort of dangle it in front of Vessel's face to test if it's really ethereal. <laughs> Would you like the shiny? Shiny. Still grabby. Ethereal's trying to grab the shiny. I think she's her. Okay, that's good. She rolled the 15 to grab the shiny. <laughs> I, I will let her because I trust that she will give it back to me. Because if she doesn't, I will give her a very sad face and she won't be able to ride on my shoulders for a while. No! There we go. Thank you for giving that me is, back to that me. Is some, that is some imagery you sent me. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Are you okay? I don't know what, what to do with it, though. What, what happened? Are you okay? Nasty. Ooh. I want, I want, I want, I have a snack now. You want a snack? It's snack time. It's snack time, okay. I, I bring out some rations for snack time. I think I've got some cheese uh, left over. I, I will have a cheese sandwich. I have snack, <laughs> I have snack with you. I have I have some M and M's out of the trail mix. Yay! Trail mix. <laughs> Let me start screaming about the trail mix again. <sighs> Meanwhile, back in the town, Araya. <laughs> Araya, what's what's good, my man? Huh? What's um, Araya do? Uh, Araya's just, I guess, not been doing jack shit. He's just been trying to build. Well, we've already built, haven't we? He has had a sneaky look at what was in those Seacrest boxes. Oh, yes, the Sea Guard crates. Yes, the two of them. So, the first box you look in appears to be a shipment of a personal wardrobe. Lots of fancy ass court clothes and robes and men's jewelry. A lot okay. in it. I, I'm going yeah. to pack them on our, in preparation to sell on our trip to Amber City. Yeah. Except, wait. How was he halfling or was he like a human? He's human. I'm gonna how I'm gonna keep one set of them to aid a disguise with someone later, just in case it comes in handy. Yeah, it's a half point specialist yeah. <laughs> disguise. Is, is there a, a big hat and like a huge medallion? <laughs> you want big hat? <laughs> Take the hats. Take the hats to Zoing. I'm gonna keep one one outfit. Right, that's the total list of everything that's in the first. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep one outfit, two rings, a necklace and, and the crown. Crown. <laughs> crown. Bitch, that's Wait. fine. No, no, no. You guys aren't here. Fuck it. You guys have been having an adventure. Carl gets <laughs> yeah. the loot. Are you looking in box number 2? Uh, hang on just before I go any further. Like I'm I'm trying to be methodical. Of course. Yeah, okay. I'm going to pack Sorry. nine suits. Uh Three rings and one necklace to sell. Check if the rings are. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know to do that, so I'm just gonna do it. He doesn't strike me as a magic user. No, I know. But then he doesn't strike me as someone who teleports through a fucking magical gate. So I'm not gonna check for magic. It's not what my character would do. So yeah, nine suits, three rings, and and one necklace are getting packed to sell. I keep one suit, two rings, and one necklace. Yeah. Um. 
and then I carefully open box two because I've seen Indiana Jones. <laughs> What's in box number two? I feel like this could be sent privately. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You will find that this one largely contains his personal, almost personal effects in some way, but there's weapons in here as well. That's what's in box number two. Ten various books, one wall map on sheepskin depicting the entire city of Taldaris, four rapiers, a masterwork mace, and a kite shield bearing the Seaguard crest. Uh, I'm out of character, am I proficient with a mace? Can uh, I even wield it? Let's see, bard weapon proficiencies are... Assuming it's a medium mace, you probably can't. <clears throat> well, you could, but with a penalty. Uh, is it a simple weapon, is the question. Is a mace a simple weapon? A light mace. Uh, no, a mace or a heavy mace is a simple one-handed weapon. So yes, you could wield that as a two-handed weapon, that masterwork mace. Okay, I am going to keep that. I'm then going to suggest that everything I found in the second box is what I found it was spread across both boxes when asked about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything else is like I say is either packed to sell or in my sort of possession. Yep. And then I'm offering it out to the party if anyone wants ten various books or wall map out on sheepskin of Taldaris. Yep, okay. Round gets well, we rounds called dips to some of the books. Anyone want, anyone want to read? Them? I want all of the books because I can read. Right, there's the stats for your new mace, by the way. And since it's a medium thing, you need to hold it in two hands to use it. What's Snick up to? Uh, Snick's probably just helping in the kitchen. Snick likes cooking if it involves corn. Um, Aiden, what have you been doing for the past 20 minutes or so since sorting uh, out the ship? I give one of the rings to Aiden as a symbol of our half-pint friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Good matching rings, that's adorable. Um, I also offer him the kite shield with the sea guard crest in case he needs a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Melt it down. And no, with that, yeah, the shield. everything else, the four rapiers and the map, and if Ron wants to share him in a book, so that's open for anyone. I'll be honest, I want to destroy the shield. I don't want anything with the sea guard crest to even exist in this world. Melt it off. It's a wooden shield. Oh, well then set fire to it then. Yeah, it can be good for a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> we can cook the snake on it. Snake steaks. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking of handing the snake off to the uh, chef if he can prepare food. If he can, no, not food. If he can prepare the snake from its current Fresh. form, yeah, and somehow preserve the rest of the slabs. Oh, we can make some nice. Oh. You could make some nice uh, round steaks with the snake. I'd imagine. Yes. You reckon Carly could knock me up a pair of boots? Absolutely. my mum. One buckum. Sorry, I'm eating some paneer. There's enough there for me to make like maybe two sets in case I fuck up, right? Yeah, you you could easily make. Never it. mind, nailed it. <laughs> nailed it. Well, you've successfully made some snakeskin court shoes. I, I've made you some snakeskin shoes that light up when you walk. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate to say it, but you haven't done the light up thing. Aww. Are well, they shiny though? I mean, yeah, he was able to get some skin that hadn't been. Stabbed, or bludgeoned, or anything. Maybe the uh, the remaining ice kind of gives it a nice twinkle. <laughs> <laughs> the frost, the frosted tips. It shimmers when you walk instead of lights up. Glistens like morning dew, as opposed to mountain dew. <laughs> if, it like, if it glistened like mountain dew, that is it not the right worried. spell I use. <laughs> it would be not the right spell. <laughs> <laughs>